everyone. Welcome to another Back Porch Session with Bren. And today we're going to talk about a quote from Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon, focusing on day one. So the quote is this, day two is stasis, followed by irrelevance, followed by excruciating, painful decline, followed by death, and that is why it is always day one. Now, chew on that concept for a second. Chew on that quote, day one versus day two. Now, to me at least, it has implications on two angles. The first is in client care or customer service. The second is on technology disruption. So in terms of client care or delivering exceedingly excellent service on a consistent basis, I'm a new client, and day one very much fits within that concept, right? I'm a, I'm a new client. It's day one with me and you as a service provider. And I don't know what you have to offer. I don't know really truly how you can help me. I may have heard some things. I may have done some internet research. I may have come through your website, whatever. But you have to very quickly convey that you are trustworthy, that you are competent, that you'll deliver professional service, that you can earn my trust as a client, earn my business as a client, and that's that initial conversation I have with you on day one. Well, let's say that now I am an existing client. You've done that. I've signed a transaction with you, signed a contract with you, whatever it is, and now I've been an existing client. I'm a current client or a past client, okay? What do I have to do now? How am I going to keep this current client base up to speed, consistently looking to me to deliver insights and solutions? Well, let's look at it this way. Let's look at what a day two person would do. Well, you know, I might touch in here and there. I might deliver some information that's not totally relevant. You know, perhaps I'll send them, you know, a cherry pie recipe or something like that. I will, you know, maybe, you know, interact with them here and there. Well, what is that? That's a static database. That's a database that's in decline. That's a database that consistently will start looking to you as irrelevant to them. And that's a database that will eventually die. And that goes, there goes your business. Death. That's why day one concepts also play to consist uh, to current clients. So what does a day one level of service to that current client means? It means to consistently look at what are the issues that they care about? What is the information that they need to drive their life forward? What are their needs in terms of, of, of service that you can provide to them today on a consistent basis that's relevant to them and akin to day one? Because day two is You've forgotten about them. Day one is you're consistently looking at them to deliver a value that does what? Reinforces the fact that you're trustworthy, reinforces that you're delivering professional service, reinforces the fact that you're competent, and reinforces the fact that you're necessary to meet their needs on whatever it is they're looking for you to do. Now, this concept around day one also fits within technology disruption concepts. Because think about it. Who is the ultimate disruptor on almost any form of technology or any industry in the world? That is the consumer. And the consumer, as that ultimate disruptor, has heightened expectations around what? Product functionality, service, meeting my needs. And that day one level thinking is incumbent upon service providers to make sure that they're consistently looking to meet those clients' needs. Because day one level needs means you're necessarily looking through and walking the mind of a consumer, mind of a client, walking through their shoes, and thus consistently figuring out how to meet new clients and existing clients, and thus keeping them within your sphere. And so that's how you prevent yourself from being disrupted, because you're consistently looking at what the consumer needs Thus, you're consistently staying a little bit of ahead, ahead of the idea of disruption and thus future-proofing your business. So that's how I look at it, day one versus day two. I challenge you to think through what it means to be delivering day one level service to your clients, both new and existing. With that, thanks for joining me on this back porch session. 
I appreciate your time. Have a good day.